YT5 gamers. Today we are gonna watch some Arcoa matches. That's right, for like the 50th day in a row, we are watching Arcoa. And this time we are going to be watching the South Korea qualifiers that happened this past weekend. I already streamed the NAU qualifiers, so you can check the uh, the streams if you want to uh, take a look at that. But we're watching South Korea today. Um, sorry if my voice sounds a little off. I have been commenting like a lot of content recently, so uh, yeah, my voice isn't super strong, but you know, we're hanging in there. And uh, we're also getting Cowboys freaking graffiti. Never mind, I already have it. Okay, I got nothing from the graffiti. Let's just go watch the co matches. Here we go, it is time for round one first half. We got an opera comp here, but it's going to be Bane instead? Yo, I just got done watching the NAU qualifiers yesterday and they ended off with a Bane, but now we're starting with a Bane this time. What the heck? Bane has been on the rise, like in competitive uh, play, like in rank and whatnot. He has been on the rise. Why? Okay, I was about to say, why would Lawyer spawn like in the middle? These are the standard spawns for uh, for a good old Moonlit here. Yeah, Bane is going to be interesting. Uh, going up against an Opera comp in round one and picking the Banester instead of Opera is really odd. But I'm kind of curious to see how it'll go. Alrighty, here we go. Well, something that's pretty interesting about South Korea is apparently only a single team can actually make it through the qualifiers. It looks like the build is going to be Detention, Trump Card, and... Oh, that's for if they go out the window. Okay. Yep, already planning ahead. That's exactly what I want to do as the Banester. Putting those uh, traps down, planning ahead of time. Uh, he does actually have peepers. That's pretty interesting. Has peepers, didn't even opt to drop one in the two-story area. Lurk can actually kind of just loop this a little bit. Um, Actually, he's going to take a hit if he goes... Yeah, he cannot go in there. Yeah, because Bane has two exits crossed off. So unless he comes back through the way he came, he cannot escape without uh, taking some damage here. Oh, uh, he actually gets caught. Wow, dang. My goodness, I, I, my, my, my biggest wonder is what exactly made it so that Bane became meta? Because, like, he's been on the rise so much recently, but he hasn't, he didn't even get that big of an adjustment, right? I think, like, he somewhat got buffed recently to his hook or something, like, how it works. But, like, even before that, he wasn't really played that much. I don't know if it was just, like, people never really played him that much just because they thought he was boring or something. Um, yeah, and gets the lawyer down somewhat fast? That's, a, that's an okay down. Yeah, that's an okay down. Are we going to see Basement here? It looks like he is going to be uh, dragging to Basement. And if somebody actually wants to come in here and get this rescue, there are some traps set up. So Bane will be able to get a, uh, a hit and maybe stuff some rescues here. I don't know if uh, you can put a trap in the uh, uh, outside the exit that like right, that's right over here. If you can, um, which probably will still be in range, but like you, you could probably... Uh, he's putting out another trap. Three traps coming. Okay, so they can only go out a single way. So yeah, I can actually see that. This is actually a really good spot for Bane because they can only enter in a single way. They actually have to sell this. They can only come in a single way. Puts a peeper down back over here. Oh my gosh. He's, he's actually like getting people caught right near. Oh my. Oh wait, he messes up. Hold on, Mercenary. Well, he's going to have to get in one of the traps though. Yep. He's going to have to go around. He has to go around. He has to go around. Oh my gosh, he has to go around. Hold on, Bane. Wait a minute. This might be some of the power of Bane right here. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's kind of crazy because the hook is actually a really good ability the more I think about it. Can he put a trap here? Oh, not yet, but once he gets the rescue, boom. Wait, that's so smart. They literally can't escape. Oh my gosh. The traps, dude. They can't escape without flywheel. And nobody on this, nobody even has flywheel on this team. Oh my gosh. He vaults and trap. There we go. There's no way to escape. There's actually no way. Bro, Bane is broken in this area. If he keeps sharing inside, then not, not that you can't escape. It's escape. Uh, it's inescapable. Oh, it looks like Basin are the only chairs here, though. Even then, though, bro, it's actually impossible to escape because of all the traps. That's kind of crazy. I mean, oh, now we we're gonna swap to teleport. Okay. Well, um, the ciphers are moving. And this one was, oh, unfortunate. Oh, wait, he actually messes up. He messes up, gonna have to take a hit. Hold on. Wait, the Banester's kind of cooking. He can he can guarantee draw this, I'm pretty sure. His hook is almost back up. He should be able to hook the patient. No, we are not gonna see hook versus hook. Waiting for flywheel, no flywheel, down you go. Yeah, nobody on the team had flywheel. Everybody had like knee jerk and whatnot. I'm pretty sure uh, Garner is the only one without borrowed time as well. Um, yeah, this is interesting. This is actually really interesting. Oh, but somebody over here finishes the Cypher. Looks like that was the Garner, actually. Garner does have Tide. And at least uh, what's good for the Lawyer is... Oh, Bubble is here. Uh, so yeah, she can get Pallet Stun. Probably should have waited on that Pallet Stun a little bit. Um, 
Uh, actually, I don't, I don't know if she actually had an opportunity. Bane was body blocking it, so maybe... Oh, the emote, bro, the emote. And now the hook, now the hook. Okay, hold on, wait. Hold, what? Why? Oh, they're wait they're waiting until they're waiting until the cipher's primed. That's smart. That's smart. Yeah, rescuing after half, waiting to the cipher is uh, gonna be primed. But the thing is now Bane knows that, and his teleport is coming back up, so he could be able to uh, to get this patient down, hit him, and then just kill him, um, and then teleport. So this this is probably three k here. Oh, let's see, let's see. Body blocking, body blocking. Using hook, using hook. Yep, spamming that hook. Terra shocks the gardener. And, oh, well, there, there it is. But now, now he can just swing again. Oh, wait, but no bar of time. That's right. Wait, the no BT. He can 4K this. He can actually 4K this. No way. I completely forgot. The no BT. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, he knew exactly. No. Oh, he dropped her into it. Wait, what? I thought, okay, dude. That's so smart. You can never struggle free against Bane. He can just keep carrying you until he, oh my gosh. He can literally just keep carrying her until he knows she's gonna struggle free. Oh my gosh. Bro. Oh no, he is gonna chair. Okay, I don't know why he's chairing here of all places. Uh, teleporting over here, but there's nobody over here. Okay. What's that a trap? Okay, he's just trying to like, put down the traps around. But now he can cross the map pretty fast if he just spams this hook. Look at that. Spam hook. Keep spamming hook. Yup. Look at that distance gaining. Uh, the thing is he has to f Oh, Mercenary is- Oh, okay. Setting up traps on the on the dungeon. Wait a minute. Hold on. The Banester? Are, is, is this just it? Is Merc cooked? Merc might be cooked. Oh, he found, he found Merc. He found him, yup. Is he gonna, he's gonna, oh, he gets the rescue though, he gets the rescue. Oh, now he has to go after Gardner. He has to. Uh, she drops pallet. Yup. Oh, he, she's dead here, guaranteed. Yeah, there's the hook. Okay, okay. Does he actually chair again, or? Oh, we're heading to, wait, Mercenary's going to Cypher Bridge. Okay, now we're gonna maybe slug out the Gardener. Um. Is he gonna put down another trap down over here? Yeah, Merc's not over there, buddy. Wait, Merc might be able to open up the gate. He's all the way at the other gate. Oh my gosh. He might be able to open it up. Bainster, it depends on how well these hooks... Oh, unfortunate. They, if, they, if they keep messing up these hooks, he actually might be able to get to him. Put down another trap maybe here. Let's see. Yup, another trap. Okay. Uh, does he go back for Gardner? Merc is on... Okay, this is 3k. This is 3k. It's 3k. He can't find the Merc. The Merc's at the other go He's at the other gate. He just doesn't care. He just doesn't care. Um. Yeah, so. Merc escapes. Gardner self heals. She can actually. Wait, she can bubble and escape. No way. It might be a draw. It actually might be a draw. She can bubble and get in. Bane! Bane, come on! She bubbles and escapes. Oh my gosh. No! Wait! She does get caught. I thought she broke it. But there's no hook. Oh, he makes it. Oh, thank goodness he makes it. I was about to say, if she made that, dude, that would have been depressing. That actually would have been depressing. What the heck? I didn't know they had freaking VTuber models. What the heck? Uh, that's interesting. Well, good work from the bank getting a 3K. My goodness. On to round one, second half, we are going to see Orpheus, uh, Gardner, Aeroplanes, and Mercenary going up against the Opera Singer. Yeah, th this is this is a bit more expected. We have the Opera Comp. I love seeing Orpheus. He's, he's actually really fun to watch. Uh, they banned Coordinator, Anti, Embalmer, and somebody else. I didn't get a look at the last one there. Uh, standard spawns from the start. Uh, probably gonna chase the Aeroplanes at Forza. I swear, like, it's, it's always this. Opera always spawns here. And always chases one of these two, because obviously you don't chase rescuer and you don't chase person at first off because they have coaster, so you have to chase one of these two basically. Oh, that's so goofy. And use yeah, it's usually best at four stop. That's that's why these these why that's why these spawns are just so good, dude. It's the, just the meta moonlit spawns. And here we go. It's opera time. Let's go. Yippee. We're gonna see the standard build on opera. It looks like. Yep. We're gonna see detention and. Uh, and Trump card gonna have some Berserk and Palette Break on the Palette uh, Persona web as well. Uh, we've got Endgame Reveal, I think that is. And then, oh, oh my gosh, he almost got dropped down. He almost got dropped down. Yeah, Aeroplanist, looks like he has, um, 
say, like, has Ty Turner and Nidra, so he can kite and rescue both. Um, which I guess makes sense. I guess makes sense, but I don't know if he's going to have the opportunity to even use the Ty Turner. Uh, Josh Palace slowly, but luckily he dropped that one kind of fast. Uh, I guess maybe is the, I think on the, yeah, because on the Persona, he has the faster dropping, uh, Palette thing there. Whoa, there's the hover. Neow, neow, neow. I love the hover, dude. The hover is so goofy looking. So goofy looking. Uh, he should be able to drop this pallet in. Okay, he, I'm pretty sure he made that pallet if he dropped it. Pretty sure he made that pallet. Maybe he wanted to try and get a pallet stun there. Uh, probably should have just dropped it for safety, honestly. Probably should have just dropped it for safety. And now Mercenary is right here. Maybe gonna be forced to do a bit of an early rescue. Now he's already transitioning out of there. That's good. Um, yeah, Mercenary does, of, co of course, has the build he always has. Borrowed time tied. Uh, Novelist has Borrow Time Flywheel, and Gardner has Tide and Nidrick. So only only two Borrow Times on the team. Pretty standard stuff for Opera Singer. Mercenary is just going to get the rest of it. Yep. He's got the Berserk, so she can start attacking again soon. We see Jetpack, Jetpack, Jetpack. Nope, he's not going to use Jetpack. Yeah, and not, not going to use Jetpack. He's going to let himself die to Tide. Die away from all the Cyphers. Go very, very far away. Uh, but now Gardner is going to have to come in here once she finishes uh, her Cypher. Yeah, she's probably still working her cyber, but if they might not even actually, they might not even uh, have Gardner do this. Yep, he dies off all the way over here. Blink has not been used yet. Um, let's see, is Gardner making her way over here though? I think she might be. It would be good to use up your second tide on the first person. Uh, he still has one more jetpack to potentially use, and yeah, it looks like Gardner is actually making her way over here. Um, and Orpheus did take over the Gardner cipher, finishes it off, but the ciphers are still a little slow. They need to, they need to start a. Uh, you need to start pushing these ciphers just a little bit more. There's, the Accelerate is not going to happen anytime soon. We see Bubble is here. Um, the, the Bubble is just there to completely uh, make so that the rescue isn't prevented. Because Opera definitely could have uh, definitely could have made sure that rescue was stuffed if uh, Garner didn't Bubble there. And now now we're going to see the jetpack. Yep, now we're going to see the jetpack. Uh, but it doesn't even matter, dude. It doesn't even matter. Yep, Opera is just too darn fast. Just too darn fast. Yep. So broken, bro. So freaking broken. But now he just dies away from all the ciphers, dying in the very corner, all the way over here. Okay, now we, I might actually, uh, let's see, are we going to stand on a chair on this chair? Yeah, this chair. It's good that this chair is gone. Um, this is a very good camping chair, so if nothing else, that, that chair being uh, gone is nice. Uh, the ciphers are slow, though. They are rotating, but they're damaged, and uh, Opera knows that. Oh my gosh, she already spies out the mercenary. But is going to not chase the mercenary? Nope, not she chase the mercenary. Okay. You can chase the Merc. You can definitely chase the Merc. He only has one elbow pad. He just used one to get some more distance. But you, you get him down. And, uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's a slower decoder. It takes a little more time to get him down. But, like, he's about to go down right. Oh, right. Nope, not quite. Hold on. Mercenary. He's kiting. He's doing this. But she could just use Blink. She's watching Cyphers. Breaks the pallet for no reason. Even though she could just use her Blink. Use her Blink. If you really need to, just use the Blink. Eh, it doesn't need to. Yeah, it doesn't need to. Garner, oh, she probably wants to swap the teleport. Um, yep, there it is. That's why she didn't just blink. Uh, Garner does have a football, though. Yep, there's a football. But guess what? That football is not going to do anything. That was all the football, and she still catches up. Bro. All the football just to die anyway. 50% ball just to die, bro. Just to die. That's kind of crazy. I thought I thought she was going to at least, like, maybe uh, try and use the football to get behind a pallet or something. But even then... Just kind of died. <laughs> just just kind of died, dude. My goodness. The, the distance that you get from football wasn't bad. That was 50% ball, and she still just, like, died. It, like, bought no time. It, it bought, like, maybe a couple seconds. Uh, the Cypher is at 22. Are we going to finally see Orf? Yep, here's Orf. Oh, we're going to swap. There we go. But she can teleport back, and she's already... Oh, the flywheel? Uh, he does... Hold on. Does he get this rescue? I actually don't know if he gets this rescue. I think it's stuffed. Yeah, he can't even get it. Wow. She's so fast, dude. It's so hard. If she if she if she catches you. If she catches you before um you get to the chair, it's just over. And she respects the pallet this time. That's it. That's a 4K. That is a 4K. She teleports back. Chairs the chairs the novelist, and that's game. Cause by the time she gets to mercenary, he's gonna he's gonna be dead. Yep. He'll he'll be dead by the time you uh find him. Like the thing is he cannot self-heal in time. I don't even think anybody but mercenary. I don't even think a pre. Well, a priestess. A priestess might have been able to self heal in time. But this is a mercenary, bro. He is not self healing. He is not self healing. But where do you chair him, though? Uh, I guess down over there. He shouldn't be able to. No, he doesn't struggle free. Uh, they're going to try to at least. Oh, no, there's one even closer. Never mind. Yep, that's it. That's it. Okay, 4K. 4K for Opera. So 3K versus 4K. 
not bad, not bad. Now moving on to round two, first half. This is pretty interesting because they're banning Dream Witch, giving the Hunter access to Opera Singer, but we're not gonna see Opera Singer. It's going to be Garn 26 Bonathan. <laughs> huh. I don't know why they're playing Bonathan on a hospital. I guess they really want to draw. I, I don't know. I'm not sure why they're picking Bonathan. That's really weird. So here's the thing about the Bonathan pick. I don't know why he's being picked. I really don't because TIA is actually behind. They get they got a 3k with the Bane last round and VF got a 4k. So that's what makes me a little confused because Bonbon bon is usually seen as a draw hunter and he actually has peepers. Spots out the Enchantress. Wow. We don't really see Bonbon bon with peepers too often unless, unless Anakin is like a a Bonbon bon main. Um, I don't really know what to expect from this. I really don't. And Enchantress could be good against Bonbon. Bon. Because maintaining distance against Bonbon bon is good, and every time she uh, she gets chipped, she does get a uh, a stun. She already has a single stun right now. Um, if she can avoid getting stuns, oh, already has a stun now. Um, interesting spot to to go. I think Bonbon bon actually lost track of her. That's really interesting. Hiding behind a box like it's freaking hide and seek or something. Uh, all the, all those hide and seek grind sessions must have uh, helped out here. Gets a gets a bomb though. A really a really solid bomb uh, chain there, and. She does have a three stack, so the best thing to do is probably be able to use that three stack, maintain, uh, maintain a ton of distance here. Let's see, will she use the three stack at all? There's three stack, yep, three stack. He is stunned for now four seconds, and she still has one more stun to work with. And she will, she will actually, if, if she kites this out long enough, she will actually get a second three stack to be able to use if she doesn't use any more of her stuns. Uh, she does have full kite build, still has flower to use, and Bonbon bon is actually missing these bombs just by like hairs, just by like actual pixels that it feels like. Uh, stuns are charging up. That's a five second bomb. She's kind of stuck there and nope, still just runs away anyway. The freaking knee jerk reflex speed is doing well. And nope, mini stun. Okay, that's just a mini stun. No blink is used because obviously has peepers. This and Chase actually doing really well. This is a really good kite and Bomba hasn't even really used his peepers at all. She's kind of looping him, but doesn't really have any opportunity to like set down a peeper at all because he's just trying to catch her. Just trying to catch her as much as possible and use a stun to go through. Forces a chip, but you'd rather take a chip than a basic hit here. Oh my goodness, dude. I mean, again, the, the camping is where he comes back, but this kite is so long. They really wanted her to take the kite, and she hasn't even had the opportunity to use flywheel yet. She just hasn't used it. I would have used that flywheel so long ago. She actually just straight up knew. Oh, you guys see flywheel yet? No. Jeez, the range of these bombs are just not long enough. You gotta drop a peeper here. You got to. Come on, Bonbon. Bon. Drop a peeper or something. You lose a little bit of distance, but like, come on, bro. Just do it. Never mind. Okay, he does finally go down to a chip. No flywheel has been used. Maybe gonna use a flywheel to try and rebound off the chair, potentially. Um, that was an amazing kite from the Enchantress, though. Bonbon bon is getting super cypher rushed. This is not looking good for TIA. If they get a successful rescue, um, there's a peeper. Yeah, you can't really hide against Bonathan. He has peepers. Uh, there's a control bomb. I guess the control bomb is good. Oh, Mercenary is banning the control bomb. That's, that's really solid. You want to try and get to the chair? Without taking any chips, though. That's the thing. We could also see... No, Airplane is not going to be able to get the backdoor rescue. Um, the, la the Cypher is almost primed. Are they just going to opt to sell? There's no way. Oh, they're just going to wait till the Cypher is primed, so it won't even matter. Yep, Mercy is going to use an Elf Pad to get closer, but... That, that was, ba that was like, it's just so good, dude. The Enchantress Kite was just so good. I mean, she does have no borrowed time, so you kind of have to be careful about that. But um, you've got Flywheel and 3-stack, so... Oh, she also hasn't used Flywheel because now now Bon Bon won't know. He won't know. And there it is. There's they should just pop. They should actually just pop. Yep, they pop. Oh, she does go down though. That's unfortunate. Wait, did she? Did she even three? She, oh, I think she's three stacked earlier. Okay. Well, now she's gonna die in a corner. Just gonna die in a corner. Yep. He does have he does have teleport. Flywheel's from our distance. Yep. There was a, now he's like, gosh, dang it, she had Flywheel this whole time. Oh, that's funny. But the gate is already open. The damage has been done. Mercy is L pad and they're all just gonna rush out. My goodness, I don't I don't know if Peeper was the best move. I know Peeper Bonbon bon in the past was meta, but I think Blink is just so much better to secure that first down so you can start camping. I just don't know. On to round two, second half. Here we go. We got Opera Singer uh, is as the ban. And listen to this, listen to this. Ready? Ready? Oh! <laughs> Oh boy, I watched that like, I was like, just, you know, scrolling up to this point in the match. And then I heard them just like pop off her cowboy. So goofy, dude. Oh, so goofy. Uh, Priest is Antiquarian, Mercenary, and Enchantress Ban. Okay. Interesting stuff. It's going to be another Bonathan. Garn 26. 
Bruh. Wait, actually, Cowboy could be good here. Cowboy can actually counter Bonbon bon camping, sort of? Well, at least he can he can lasso the person on the chair. Um, you, can, you can obviously body block the lasso, but still, if he can get that lasso, maybe have like a double camp threatened up or something, that could be really good. Um, got Dancer in hospital, maybe set up some, uh, some slow box traps. I'm kind of curious to see how this match is going to go. VF does have the lead here, and so if they just keep maintaining draws, they're going to win the set. And here we go. We're going to be rocking with the absolutely disgusting Bunny Bonbon bon skin. I think it's supposed to be like an Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter kind of thing. I don't know. White Rabbit with the, the Mad Hatter T thing on his hat. The, the T is pretty interesting. I don't know how he doesn't spill any of that while he's walking around. I really don't know what's up with that. Uh, Peeper Bon Bon again? Look at that. Look at the face. It's so ugly. I'm sorry. The face is so ugly, bro. That face is disgusting, bro. Actually disgusting. Uh, oh? Oh? Uh, huh, just not gonna opt to drop down, gonna switch targets onto the officer? I don't think you wanna fight the officer, he's just gonna use watch. Don't use watch till he gets rather close. Okay, there's a chip, but now you have to just use watch. Well, he knows he's, wait, 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 hold on. Wait, he took two chips, hold on. Maybe, maybe getting officer down here wouldn't be too bad. You actually do have three tide turners on the team. Um, on both, uh, officer, on aeroplanist, and on cowboy. Um, now I can see officer here. He's actually opting to chase Officer. Um, and he gets him down with all chips. Cowboy almost saves him too. Cowboy almost saved him. Control bombs. Oh, but he fly was the control bomb. Good work from Cowboy. Yup, Cowboy's here for harassment. You can use the bomb to interrupt the, oh my gosh. What the, well they, they know, they, the thing is they don't have to be worried about excitement or uh, blink or anything like that because they know he has peepers. They know he has peepers. They know it's gonna be slow. Oh, because the box is here. Wait, so Cowboy can, oh, smart, smart. He's, he's smart. That's really good. But now you can frame one, pick him up right on the lasso. Now, come on. Yeah, baby. Oh, Bonathan, you're not getting that camping today. Hold on. The support is kind of crazy. Oh, does chip chip down the cowboy, chipping him down. Control bomb again. Oh, he's trying to force him into the control bomb. Oh, my gosh. And then he gets a control bomb hit, so he has to drop him again. Oh, cowboy flywheel. No, he doesn't fly anymore. He's, he's gone. He's gone, bro. He's gone. That's two downs. He bought a decent amount of time. Can he struggle free? Can the officer struggle free? He cannot struggle free. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Dude, the, I just realized how crazy the dancer cowboy pick could be. You can rescue somebody and drop them in slow boxes and all that. Oh my gosh. And now, now the thing is, this also is scary because with the rescue, he could also pick up. No, he's not gonna do that. Okay. I thought Bob was gonna do like the pickup strap, but now nobody's on a cypher. Wait, nobody's on the cypher. I like the strategy from the survivors, but now I'm not, now I'm not so sure. Because they're losing their rescue here. He does have a long share time. But they're all here. They're all here. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know what exactly they need. I know I know they are, are very far behind, uh, which is why they have so many tide turners. But now they just got to scatter. They have to scatter. Everybody is here, but they all got to scatter like right now, dude. First officer buying time in the slow box. Yup. Going back into the slow box. Yup, just literally going back into that slow box, dude. But he also doesn't have too much to work with here. The Bonathan is a full presence, does have peepers. This is looking much, much, much better. And control bomb downs. Oh boy. That is, um, that's kind of crazy. He's gonna actually opt to walk through the slow, okay, he's gonna walk through the slow bomb, maybe? What is he? Okay, he's gonna move away. Yeah, this is a much better camping chair. Um, but now, now you want to drop the peeper. Can you please break the slow box? <laughs> He's just going to go back into the slow box. Oh, boy. No, not going to break the slow box? Uh, Why aren't we going to break the slow box? It's right there. It's literally right there. I mean, I guess he's just trying to pressure people off ciphers. I don't know. I would at least broken the slow box. Uh, Cowboy is here. Flywheel the bombs. Okay. Thing is, he wants to rescue without lasso here. That's the thing. He just straight goes for it. No, no fear at all. And, and, okay, control bomb misses, but can he chip? He can, oh, bomb chain, no bomb chain. Just gets a basic hit, yep, gets a basic hit. Now officer dies in the corner, and that's two of their tides used up. Two tides have been used up. Accelerated decoding has uh, taken effect, but the ciphers are still slow. They are still slow. They have two that are almost done, but I think if they secure the draw here, um, I don't know if it'll be over for Team TIA, but I think it, uh, I think there's a chance it might be, because I got a 4k last time, 
They might they might be too many uh, kills behind. I, I I do think actually, actually yeah, I think they will be behind. I think I think this uh, getting this draw here will will secure them the game, which is why they just picked Bonathan. I just don't know if they can get a three escape here. There's no way it's only f like four matches, dude. Uh, I mean, I guess it could, but we have seen that kind of stuff before. Here's Slowbox being set up. Dancer is at half health, actually. Um, yep, half health Dancer, and he's going to take a chip. Yup, yup. Oh, she's getting forced out in the open, and... Oh, wait, that was good. Oh, almost. That was almost good. Almost good, almost good. Almost good. Yeah, the Cyphers are just too slow, man. There's still three left. Three ciphers they need to finish. And nobody's even on it. They're just opting to heal up the cowboy instead. Maybe the peeper bomb on is just kind of crazy, dude. I don't know. Like I said, Blink would be better earlier, but he just went for the rescuer. He just opted to go for the rescuer instead, found him in a bad area, and just cornered him with bombs. I just I don't know if I agree with the positioning from the uh, the officer. Huh. Which is why I, which is why I thought it was so weird, because he had like the dancer at first. It was like, oh, that seems like a much better target. Um, cowboy is here again. He could last the person off the chair. Control bombs the cowboy. Now he just needs one more chip. He just needs one more chip. One more chip, and now he cannot rescue. Flywheel's the basic hit, though, and gets the rescue, and he just wants both of them down. He's trying to chip them down. Nope, doesn't get the chip on cowboy. Oh my gosh, there's still one lasso. There's still one lasso. Cowboy, can you do it, bro? Can he do it? I don't think he has enough. That's it. He just gets chipped down. That's it, bro. That's the game. And there's a there's a bunch of bombs in there too, so Aeroplane is a little scared of the bombs. Oh my gosh. That's the game, dude. I'm pretty sure that is just the set. Pretty unfortunate for Team TIA. My goodness. The Aeroplane did all the decoding. And the Cyphers were kind of close. Look at that. One at one twenty percent away, one twenty-five percent away. Aeroplane can get dungeon, but it's not gonna be enough. That's that's Cowboy on the chair. And the thing is, Bomba does not need to push for the 4K because he's already won at this point. He's already won. The aeroplane can try to get dungeon, but it just doesn't matter. The, the, the game's already over, I'm pretty sure. All right, Cowboy does die, and Aeroplanist is gonna hover. Wait, oh, he gets... Okay, he does get dungeon. Aeroplanist does get dungeon. He, he just excitements for no reason. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, because they still lose. I'm pretty sure that's still a loss. Yep, that's the win for Team VF. Unfortunately, we had two Bonbon bon games, but it is what it is. Good start. Good start to the uh, to the South Korea division. And there we go, everybody. That is going to be it for today. We're only doing one set today, but I'll be sure to have plenty of videos where we cover one or two sets in a, in a video so we can, uh, you know, kind of speed past since we have a lot of uh, co-op matches to catch up to, especially to uh, finally start checking out CN Mainland. I haven't watched any CN Mainland videos yet, but I've heard the uh, I've heard the games have been good. Very, very good. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.